The first habit of a high value man, he doesn't listen to other people. Whoa, whoa, that doesn't sound good. Let me explain. What I mean here is that a high value man is very careful about who he listens to. If he has a medical issue, he takes advice from a doctor. If he wants to get in better shape, he seeks the advice of a physical trainer. What he doesn't do is take advice from random people that are trying to tell him how to live his life. You see, a high value man has purpose. He has value. He has intrinsic value. This is something that he's developed himself, having put himself through the furnace. He has forged his own steel. He knows what he stands for and he's done the work. He has questioned himself and by doing that, he knows what he's about. Now, defining who you are, this is a lifelong journey. I highly recommend you start off with the classics. Marcus Aurelius, his meditations, a great place to start. But this is something that as you work up, you're going to find mentors, people that you would pay to take their advice. And that takes us right back to where we began because as you start to make your way up, as you start to get around people, especially in this world of social media. You're going to have random people, people that you don't know well, some people you know well, but let's just say this isn't their expertise. Their lives are in shambles. They're going to try to give you advice on how to live yours. A high value man knows the only true freedom he has in this life is the ability to make up his own mind. In today's video, gents, we're talking about how you can become a high value man. Today's video, gents, is sponsored by Built Bar. I'll talk about them a little bit later in the video. The next habit of the high value man, he practices being resilient. Resiliency, simply defined, is your ability to bounce back from failure. A high value man, he's a bit of a Buddhist. He understands that everything changes. Seriously, those two words right there explain a lot of things in life and why we suffer so much. Because when things are going great, we don't want them to change. And when they do, when they fall down, when it all falls apart, when you are running on all cylinders and you get sick and all of a sudden everything seems to come out from under you, things have changed. And guess what? This is life. And the high value man, he understands this. He understands that challenge, that difficulty, that obstacles are just simply part of the journey. The high value man understands and accepts that life is hard, no matter what path you choose. Being broke, living in debt, very difficult. It's hard. Making smart financial decisions, building yourself up, your personal wealth, very difficult. Choose your heart. Working on your communication skills, building deep relationships, getting into a relationship that you commit to, marriage, very difficult. So is having really bad relationships. So is going through a divorce, going through a breakup. These things are hard. Again, choose your heart. Being in poor physical shape, being overweight, not being able to walk up a flight of stairs without losing your breath, that is a difficult way to live. Going to the gym every day, watching what you eat, maintaining your weight, having a body you're proud of, that's very hard as well. Choose what you are going to go after. Choose your heart, gents. Now, that being said, gents, to be honest, this last year was probably my worst year ever for personal fitness. I gained about 10 pounds. I stopped going to the gym. I stopped running and I started eating junk here in the office. That being said, I'm happy to report I've made some systematic changes. I'm now going back to the gym regularly and I got rid of the junk in my office and I brought in healthy snacks like Built Bar. Now, first up, let's talk about the taste. Built Bar makes protein bars that taste amazing. So, one of my favorites right here, the apple almond crisp, real apples, real almonds. If you like apples and almonds, this one's for you. Oh, 160 calories, 18 grams of protein, 6 grams of fiber. Or maybe apples aren't your thing. You like almond joys? Check out this, coconut and almond. And I love almond joys. This isn't candy. This is a lot better for you. Again, we're talking 180 calories here, 18 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber. Now, those two are just a couple of my favorites and they're just the tip of the iceberg. You go over to Built Bar's website, you're going to see they've got tons of options. Guys, I've tried 18 of them and I have to say there wasn't a single one that I didn't love. So, how does Built Bar compare to some of the other options out there? Let me show you. So, as you can see on this chart here, we're comparing calories, fat, net carbs, sugar, nuts, fiber, and protein. Guys, as you can clearly see right here, Built Bar dominates the competition. Gluten-free, no preservatives, and 65,000 reviews that you can go through one at a time over on their website. Okay, that last point, going through all 65,000 reviews, I probably wouldn't recommend, but what I will recommend is trying their mixed box. This gets you 18 
different types and you can try it for yourself. You can see how good these things taste. So to grab your first box of Built Bars, double chocolate, amazing. Use that link down in the description of today's video to get the best deal out there on the web. Yeah, if you want to have some better snacks around the house, around the office, check out Built Bar. And again, start with the mixed box. You get all 18 flavors. The next habit that a high value man cultivates is his ability to communicate effectively. Now, some people have this perception that a high value man, that the top guy, the alpha, somehow he's this lone wolf. He doesn't need the pack. That gents is a bunch of BS. The strength of the wolf is the pack. The strength of the pack is the wolf. They need each other. Yeah, that's right. Game of Thrones, House Stark. Now, I'm not saying you got to be an outgoing extrovert that can jump up on stage and give a presentation. What I am saying is you got to be able to express yourself. So, having a command of your language and the vocabulary, being able to express yourself, whether it be spoken, written, or just simply in a text. This is key to be able to engage and work with others. Now, the next habit of a high value man is he focuses on his relationships, his network. A lot of you guys may think networking sounds like a slimy word. It is if you do it the wrong way, where you're going after and you got an ulterior motive to get from somebody. But a high value man realizes, you know what? He builds real relationships with his peers, with people that he spots who he knows are going places. And guess what? It takes time to build real relationships. This isn't something that you can start at the bottom and think, I'm going to network with the guys on top and they're going to lift me up. Here's the thing. It's got to go both ways. And if you're not doing that, then you're doing it wrong. And yes, we all start at the bottom. I know I look around the people that I've really built strong relationships with. I can text them. I can call them at any point because they're genuinely my friends. I saw them when they were much smaller, but I spotted in them greatness. I wanted to be around those type of people that would energize me that had specific skills. It wasn't because I wanted to use them. It was simply because I wanted to be part of the ride. I wanted to be their cheerleader and see these guys going up. And that is the power of true networking, of true relationship building is you don't really need anything from them. And they sense this and they know it. Now, they're going to want to give you things and there may come a point that you need to call upon that relationship when you see, hey, this is going to be beneficial or maybe I do need your help and I would really appreciate it because relationships are all also create are also they, they're they're made deeper whenever somebody can also give and not get anything back and that to me is also one of the big signs of a high value man is he gives of himself and he doesn't need anything back he realizes that he has relationships in abundance he has things in abundance and he can give his time so if you're starting at the bottom Look around. Who can you give to? And it may not seem like it's going to get much value from you. There's an older woman on your street that she needs her yard, you know, cut. She maybe needs the driveway plowed of snow. You go do that. You know why? Because her son, he may be the CEO of a company. You're not going there for that reason, but you don't know how it's going to come back. And when you give, you find that it comes back to you ten. Fold. The next habit of high value men, they accumulate resources. They understand that whenever you've got resources, you can solve a lot of problems. The most obvious one is money. And that one is definitely, you know, self-explanatory. If you've got money, it puts you in this position where you can solve a lot of problems out there. But there are other ways that you can build up resources. Experience is a resource. When I was a young lieutenant, I sought out other lieutenants that were Mustangs. These were prior service uh, guys that just simply had experience. They had knowledge. If you are a doctor, if you're a professional, that right there, there's a lot of clout, a lot of power that goes with that because in certain situations, you are going to be the only person there that can solve the problem. So, accumulate that knowledge, accumulate those resources so you can deploy them when need be. The next habit of high value men is they're consistent in their pursuits. When you're consistent, you are reliable. You're somebody that other people can depend on because you're going to be going after it again and again and again. And it's rarely that you see a high value man that is in his early twenties. Why? Because it takes five years, 10 years, 20 years to build yourself up. Now, if you're a bit older and you're just getting started, you're having to restart, guess what? You've got all that experience. You can usually accelerate and get to where you want to go faster. But if you're 20 years old, if you're 22 years old watching this video, guess what? No worries. I mean, you are on the right path. You're watching my videos and most importantly, you're taking action. That's what is going to get you there. But understand it, it's a five year, it's a 10 year journey, depending on what path you're going down, depending on, you know, what luck rolls your way. But 
High value men are consistent and they can be depended upon because they're going after that and they're, yeah, they're making things happen day after day. The next habit is that high value men work on their command presence. This is your image. This is your presentation. This is your mannerisms. This is simply the way that you behave. It's everything that we see on the outside. So, if you understand human beings, you understand that we're lazy, that we make snap judgments based off of what we see, what we hear, what we smell. And if you want to present, you really want to be a high value man and seen as a high value man, don't go against people, don't betray their expectations. If a naked guy runs in a room and says, hey, I'm a doctor, I can help. You, you don't listen to him. You just notice the fact that this guy is crazy and he ran into the room versus someone that walks in dressed in that white lab coat that here in the United States and in much of the Western world, we see as, oh, that is a doctor. That's a professional. We attribute that with the individual and you've got to understand if you want to come off as a high value man in your industry, whatever that industry may be, think about how do the guys at the top dress? Not necessarily the very top because the CEO, yeah, Zuck can do whatever he wants at Facebook. But you look at the other people in and around Zuck. They're mostly dressed professional. They care about presentation because they understand this is a large company. And if you want to come off as credible, is it going to be a suit or is it going to be a uniform in your profession? Whatever it may be, find what professionalism is in your area and leverage that. Use it to your advantage. Don't forget, go over to Built Bar and if you could only choose one, go with the Cherry Barcia. Just amazing. Love this one. Yes. If I had to choose one that's my favorite, it would be this or the 17 others, definitely. Again, gents, use that link down in the description. It's the best deal on the web. Not sure how long it's going to be out there. Use it or lose it, guys. Great company. Awesome taste in bars. So, what video to watch next? How about the seven deadly style sins? This is one of my better videos. I go into a lot of detail and I explain exactly what you want to avoid to present your best self. So, check it out, guys, right here.